Hey, how's it going? This is Mike from TubeStudio.com. I'm here today with a Minel Weston 32. This is a great instrument. Um, from what I understand, the older ones um, had some, some pitch problems. Um, I think they actually started out as a Minel Weston 30 um, and was a four valve. And of course, you know, there were some more pitch issues with that. Um, and then the five valve came out and it might have been, I'm not hundred percent sure about this, but it might actually been a, um, left-handed fifth valve. Um, this one, it's in the thumb. The valves are pretty quiet, uh, pretty in really good shape. They do need to be oiled. So that little bit of knocking is, I'm sure will be gone. But overall, I mean, it really plays well. Um, and actually mechanically is in great shape. Uh, the instrument is in good shape. It's got, you know, some wear on the bottom a little bit, some scratches and stuff, um, some minor dings and stuff like that, but it's just from regular, regular use. Um, but the cool thing about this horn is, is that this is one of, one of, when I say newer, don't get confused. It's not new. It's a used horn. Um, but it's probably from within the last 20 to 25 years. The valves are in really good shape, so the age doesn't really matter if the valves are in good shape. They have a lot of lot of life left to them. And uh, the first valve slide is actually vented, so that helps a lot. Um, and it's got a string pull on it, so this, or not a string pull, but a, um, uh, what do you call it, a stopper. So this way you don't pull it out. Um, and it moves very smoothly. Um, so let me just play, play a little bit so you can hear some range and stuff and hear how it sounds there's pictures you know um pictures available as well to see the the whole horn because i know it's not fitting into the picture here but here we go <laughs> of this horn is typical to like I play a Rudy Minel three-quarter most of the time which is basically a four-quarter size horn um, and when you first play it it feels a little stuffy in the low register but it's a kind of what it is is that you kind of have to get used to how to blow it it's not because there's anything wrong with it and it's not because it actually has a stuffy register it's just a matter of that the low end is a little bit um, a little bit different that you have to blow a certain way and slow your air down and fill it up so Here's some here's some low notes. So you can hear you get some really big sound down in that low register. So anyway, that's the Minor Western 32 that I've got right now in the shop. I've got a couple other horns. Uh, that I'll be doing videos for probably, maybe, possibly, <laughs> I don't know, I a lot of stuff to do, so, um, but this is one I wanted to, um, just kind of get this out there and let people know what, that it's available, uh, it's a great instrument, um, it's something that, um, especially if you're a professional or an aspiring professional, um, I think that this is the horn for you. Um, it's a, a great medium-sized instrument that does everything, and it's, uh, a very, it's really a great instrument to grow with um, because the instrument's not going to hold you back if you're an aspiring professional. So, And there's so much stuff nowadays that, that has a lot of pitch issues and that kind of thing, but this is, this is a, a solid horn. So, All right, Mike from TubaStudio.com. Have a great day, and thanks for listening.